A Fox Business alert. The White House looking at a plan to force lenders to pay for their role in last fall's mortgage modification fiasco. The administration wants banks to write down billions of dollars in loan principles to help out struggling homeowners. But Capital L Financial Group Chairman John Lakin says that could have disastrous consequences, not just for the housing sector, but for the entire economy. Why do you say that? Well, first of all, it distorts lending. And what it means is if your banks are going to lose $200 billion worth of uh, loans, meaning write-downs, uh, they're not going to be able to loan money on their asset side of their balance sheet. In other words, good lenders are going to have a hard time getting loans because banks are going to look even more with more scrutiny at the, at the loans that they're making. And therefore, a whole group of potential mortgage uh, people will not be able to get their loans. Might this also not uh, tie up this huge inventory that we have that was beginning to clear, but uh oh, here we go. The government's coming in to keep people in these homes that maybe should be foreclosed on a little longer. Absolutely, because the legal, they'll test this legally. Forget the moral aspects of this, but they'll test this legally. It'll drag through the courts. Some of the write downs that should take place won't take place. Some that should never take place will be forced to be t taken. And the, uh, the number I heard is $200 billion worth of write-downs on the bank balance sheets. That's an enormous amount of capital to lose and be forced to lose uh, when you want to stimulate lending. If you can't do that. If you're losing money, you can't stimulate lending. No one would disagree that banks should absolutely follow rules and, of course, go by the letter of exactly a contract. Yet, some of these people who are sitting in homes and they haven't paid their mortgage in months, in some cases two to three years, we've heard anecdotal evidence, are they going to walk off scot-free? And what does that do later for the psychology of the mortgage market in general? Well, that's what I said. There's the moral aspect of this whole, whole argument. Uh, do you affect the underlying moral idea that you're supposed to be responsible as a human being for the credits and the things, the loans that you get from, you from institutions? You sign a contract. You sign a contract. And you're supposed to be morally and legally responsible for that. If the government steps in and is just constantly breaking contracts, as they did with General Motors' debt, uh, or they're doing in other areas, you distort the market. And you don't help the market. You exacerbate the trend of the market, which is down at the present time. So all you're doing is exacerbating the problem. You're not helping the problem. What are the bets inside the industry that this is going to happen? Is, is it, does it have to go through a Republican Congress? Because if it does have to do that, it won't happen. No, I think it's administrative. It's I don't all think administrative. It's, I the think executive can do it totally on I its think own. That, I think they're trying to do it through the FDIC and administrative. Wow. That's what they're trying so to do. So what's the bet? That it's going to happen or not? Well, if somebody's smart, if anybody has any brains in the government and looks at it, they're not going to get it done. Because just think about it. If you're writing down $200 billion worth of loans, you're affecting your primary capital. You can't keep your ratios going. Therefore, you don't lend on the asset side. And therefore, you have no growth in the asset side. And as I understand it, the administration wants to stimulate lending. Well, is it a positive sign, though, that after all of this, banks will scrutinize loans more closely? I mean, don't we need to get back to a time where we made sure people, in the worst of times, in case they lost their jobs, would still have enough money to pay for their mortgage? See, I think banks should scrutinize the loans more, but the most important part is banks should be forced to own some of the loans. They Now they sell them all off, okay? Go back to old-fashioned lending. You must own a certain portion of your loans, and therefore, not just in, without, just without discrimination, you should own some of your well, loans. If we, if maybe we get one rid of, in 10, it, maybe one in 20. If we get rid of Freddie and Fannie, then that will happen, because that's their job, is to securitize That's right. Loans. When I grew up as a kid, that's what happened. Banks owned the loans. They knew the face of the customer. Exactly. Okay. They own the loans. Why not go back to that? I'm all for it. John Lakey, and good to <laughs> see you, my friend. You. Thanks Thank very you. much. Chairman Thank of you. Capital Pleasure. L Finance.